It's back. Hey everyone, it's Crystal, and today we're going to do this Walking Dead manicure. Because the new season starts tomorrow. Uh, this is, we're going to actually go through each finger individually except the thumb because I don't do nail art on the thumb even on like these big manicures. We're starting with the pinky. Here I used uh, Low from Zoya mixed with a little bit of Blanc from Essie to make it, you know, that brain color. Then I went in with Cocktail Bling because it's the only gray cream I own. I own some gray hollows, but uh, that's not very apocalypse like. And we're doing that on the middle and the index ring, whatever you want to call it. And then for the pointer and the thumb, I'm going in with black. We're going to actually do nail art on the pointer. We're not doing nail art on the thumb. In fact, I don't think you'll even, I don't think in my final photos even, my thumb was in the frame. Aww. You get this lovely combo. And then I'm going to start on the pinky and then kind of work forward. Uh, here we're going to simply peel it. I know. I know. I've been using those tape things and they're great. But I had the simply peel right next to me so I was like, let's do this. We are going to use this stamping plate for the first time. I got this around Halloween and I really wanted to do something with it then but then I didn't. Oh god, look away! Look away! Look away! I can't get the peely stuff up. I fumbled around with this for like two minutes. I sped that up for you. Uh, I finally got a tear in it and I grabbed my tweezers and pulled it up. And this is the best part of the thing. The peeling. I don't know what it is about these little sheets on stamping plates, cell phone covers, whatever, I like to peel them off. Okay? It's fun. And anyone who says that they don't get a kick out of it when they get a new appliance or something with it is lying to you. I know I want to use the brain on this. I know I want to use the don't open dead inside things, which by the way are printed the wrong way. Because it really should say don't dead and then open inside so that it looks like the actual door in the movie. Or, not movie. <laughs> looks like the actual door in the movie. In the show. I'm starting off by using uh, black stamping polish from Bundle Monster. This is straight up black. And I'm just going to get the brain design and stamp it onto my pinky. I'm not going to do much else on that. I'm kind of leaving the pinky just as a plain brain. I mean, just kind of simple cute and I'm gonna roll with it as you can see here though I uh, have some centering issues it took me a bit to get that stamped and everything because I was kind of like uh this is in the middle once that's done you just peel off your simply peel ta-da you have a nice little mini brain on the ring finger we're going to be applying the Simply Peel to anything and everything we can in this video. I mean, there's going to be so much peel porn by the end of this, we could probably make a montage. On this finger, I did some dry dabbing is what I call it. I'm not sure that's what it's called. Maybe it's called dry sponging. But I took a post-it, put it down, put a dab of black nail polish. I used Memento Mori from Cirque. Then I tore off a bit of sponge dipped it in it and dabbed it around like you saw there until it was kind of dried up and then I took it to the nail so that it gives you this kind of scattered dirty look without having these blobs of black on your nail there you go I did actually go in a little more after this initial dabbing and put more on which you'll see when we go to stamp it but I didn't film it. I thought I was filming it, but I wasn't. And I was like, I'm not redoing this nail because I had already done this nail twice. 
That's a shame story. I'm grabbing my image here. And I tried to send her this, but I failed. And since this was the third attempt, the since this was the third attempt, I was like, F it, this is just staying this way. See, the first time I uh, put the don't open on my index finger <laughs> and then put the dead inside on my middle finger so it was backwards. And then the second time I did the exact same thing. Okay, moving on now. We are stamping the other nail with the don't open part. <laughs> I did the same sponging effect on this. Just stamped it with the other part of the door. And then we're going to peel off all the Simply Peel again. Best thing ever. Look, it actually didn't get on my cuticles. Black is the absolute worst color to get on my cuticles. It annihilates them. And they're all funky looking for days. All right, final finger. We can do this. We can make it to the end of the apocalypse. We're going to be the survivors, guys. And we're going to have really pretty manicures because everyone else who wants all the nice polishes will be dead and we'll be able to, like, steal them all. I'm going in with my Simply Peel because I'm going to stamp this, too. I used white here. It's Bundle Monster again. It's just the BAM white stamping polish. And on this hand, I actually wasn't too concerned about getting the white all the way on the bottom of the image because I knew that right now my finger is too short to hold that whole image. I just wanted to put the hand on it. So I stamped the hand. I kind of tried to center this better than the others because the others where it was okay if they were off center, this was going to look weird. Here I'm also doing the dry dabbing I did earlier, dry sponging. Leave me a comment telling me what it's actually called and I'll stop making up names for it. I just tore off a bit of sponge again here. The first time, got some sponge that was too small. Took it off. Got the sponge that was about the right size. And then did the same dry sponging technique. Getting it a little dry and then taking it to the nail. I did this to kind of try to make it look bloody. I thought about sponging some green on there too or using a green stamping polish, but I didn't have anything that was like the color of zombie flesh. I also decided to do a little dry sponging on the brain nail and I failed to record that too, but you're going to see it in the final shot. Once I dabbed the crap out of this, I just peeled off the Simply Peel and then went in and put a glossy top coat on all of the nails. As you can see here on the pinky, I went in and I did the kind of dry sponging, whatever you call it, to make the brains look bloody. I'm going to leave a link to all the stuff, I, this thing took a lot of stuff, to all the stuff I used for this manicure in the description box. And ta-da, there's the finished result. It's so pretty. Oh, excuse my shininess, cuticle oil. As usual, if you like this, hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up for new, more fun stuff in the future.